Hello, I'm Jessie Turan, and today I'm going to demonstrate something that I call the Hippiphany armbar. And I call it the Hippiphany because it was when I figured out how to do this armbar was when I figured out how the hips work in relation to jujitsu. And when you understand how the hips work, you start to understand how everything in jujitsu works. Um, before I demonstrate it though, I would like to thank David Camarillo uh, of American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, um, former teammate of mine. He was the one, he told me to bring my hips up and I didn't understand that for about two years. But I finally got it. So thank you, Dave. Um, just wanted to give you credit there. Okay, thanks. Now the hip epiphany. First of all, I mean, most of you probably know a regular arm bar from guard. But in case you don't, I'll just demonstrate how it's usually done. Put on the hip, swivel, push, bring the head over, and lift up. Okay, regular arm bar. The hip epiphany arm bar is just a little bit different. Um, wrist, tricep. The reason why I like to grab the tricep is so that my opponent cannot pull his arm away from me. So pull. Okay, so I have the tricep. If I'm holding here and he pulls his arm away, I don't have that power. So here, here. Now for um, the epiphany, I'm going to put my foot on his hip and I'm going to tuck my knee tight into his shoulder. At this point, my head is going down to the ground. And this is where the hip epiphany comes in. Because when my head is down to the ground, I can push on his hip and lift my hips all the way into his armpit. If my head was off of the ground, look what happens to my hips, okay? I can't look at him. I can't keep my head off the ground and keep my hips up at the same time. In order to keep my hips up, my head has to stay glued to the ground, and I lift my hips as high as they'll go. So I'm coming a little bit, I'm even coming a little bit on, my, on this shoulder, so I'm angling myself outward. This knee is still against his shoulder. Now instead of swiveling, this foot, my right foot is going to kick out, foot flexed, and I'm going to bring it in a circle to his opposite shoulder and pull him into me with the flexed foot. Okay, not only does that keep him from posturing up, it also feeds the arm. So it pulls him in a little bit tighter. Push, bring it around, and again, flex the foot and pull my knees in, keeping him from posturing up. Now, my head down, hips up, okay, and some arm bar. The more your head is down, the higher you can raise your hips. Okay, that's, that's the crucial point of theory behind this move. So one more time, regular speed. Grab the arm. If you can force it to bend, that's great. Lift, kick out with the flexed foot, bring it around, pull. Down. Now, a lot of people, when you see this move for the first time, you think, well, what's the big deal? It's not that different. Try it. Glue your head to the ground, lift your hips up as high as they can, and instead of swiveling, kick the foot, bring it to the opposite shoulder. Um, it just makes everything a lot tighter. Just, just try it. You don't have to believe me, just try it. 